Hello, Ambassadors, and welcome now to Wednesday. Well, I think it's kind of cloudy and overcast for the Geminis, but not in a bad way. In one of those times where Geminis are just kind of glazed over, where their twin in the background is doing all the processing, and that's literally the emotional focus as well. The moon has moved into Aquarius, which is the tuning planet of our emotional focus, the moon. And for you Geminis, it's focusing on your philosophy for the next couple of days. That's why you're kind of spaced out or you want to process. This is the one time of the month, and we all get it at one point, where you really kind of replay old conversations, you think about how you feel, you think about your philosophies, you think about your emotions, and you probably aren't thinking about the road. So be careful if you're out there driving. Also, in the next 24 hours, you're going to be particularly sharp intellectually as it meets your emotions because the moon will be crossing over Mercury, which is the tuning planet of thinking and communicating your ruling planet. So in a way you're going to be kind of a Jedi master emotionally in the next 24 hours. Even though you want to kind of space out, you might consider having that important conversation with someone if you need to. The whole planet is really set up for good conversations and we've got a lot going on. In fact, today the sun enters into chapter three of Sun and Capricorn. It is ruled by Mars, which says to me, move forward with what you know in the Capricorn spectrum. And for Geminis, that spectrum really involves where you draw your lines. In fact, with Pluto entering this side of, the, of your consciousness at the end of the month and staying there for 16 years, Geminis are going to, onion layer by onion layer, completely dissect and understand every boundary they have in their whole matrix of their belief structure. So no matter what you think or where you think you might end up or whether you think you're not ready to start drawing boundaries, the lesson does begin now. And I will remind you that Jupiter is also alongside your consciousness there. Jupiter is fortune and learning, which means you really should go ahead and act with what you know now, especially with fortune on your side, so you can get as much of this 16-year lesson out of the way before Jupiter leaves at the end of the year. Then lastly, I want to point out Mars is retrograde in your house of ego. Don't be too surprised if you find yourself in an old ego position in the next few days. All right, Gemini, that's all I have for the day. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So